everybody, my name is Tenley Rude. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today's video is an exciting one and it's a little bit different than anything else we've filmed. So today we're doing a running video, which I don't run, which is like the point of this video. I wanna run for a week straight about and just kind of see how we like it, see how it is. I've never enjoyed running in the past, but I'm not putting a lot of pressure on myself to like run good times or anything. We're just gonna attempt. So right now it's a Monday night, it's almost eight o'clock, it's 7.50, and I'm super pinched for time. I don't know where I was because my mom FaceTimed me when she's at the Costco because we've done dorm shopping today, but I'm just gonna try to run one mile today and then maybe more like tomorrow depending on how I'm feeling. I don't ever run, I walk a lot, and I do like form workouts on YouTube and everything, and I'll sometimes go to like spin classes. But I don't run, it's like the one form of activity that I do not do, I lift too. So we're gonna go try this. We're just gonna try to whip out a quick mile. I have like an hour to run, shower, and get ready to go on a call at nine o'clock, so I need to hurry. But yeah, I'm very excited. Let's go get this. I'm a little nervous actually, but we're, this whole vlog is gonna be dedicated toward my week of running as a person that doesn't run. So first thing, let's put my hair up because I feel like I can't run with my hair down. We're just gonna do a bun back here. I'm washing my hair tonight, so I don't really care what happens to it back here. We're gonna throw on the headphones and we're gonna get rolling. I'm honestly really nervous. Just one mile. My neighborhood also is super hilly, so this will be interesting. First, you need a hype running playlist, so we found that already. We're just gonna listen to that and we're just gonna go. I'm nervous. I also can't like talk and run like the professional runners do, so we're gonna give it our best go though, anyway. Should we stretch? Is that like important? I don't even know. That's good. Okay, we're gonna start out on the watch. Oh, I'm scared. Three, one, take off. Okay, I'm about 10 feet in. I'll update you guys at like a quarter mile in. We're currently halfway there. Very winded, but we're still going. <sighs> our one mile adventure it honestly was so good my pace so slow i ran like a 941 but hey we came out here and we did it and that's like what matters for sure it's like seriously the perfect night like there could not be better weather to be doing this which is the best feeling it's just actually beautiful out there's a slight breeze there's not too many bugs the sun is getting ready to kind of start setting it's just super pretty out here the vibes are awesome yeah i'm very happy that we did it um, it wasn't honestly that bad. I thought it was gonna be worse. I'm doing I'm definitely winded, but I also like thought I was running a lot faster than I was. But the first half mile I was on the phone talking to my mom, but I was like, bro, I am not good at running. I cannot do this yet, but very happy we did. I feel honestly really good. My goal this week is to hit three miles at some point or maybe five, but five seems really extreme because I like don't run. So I don't know if I can just whip out a five miler, but we'll see. I feel honestly so good the runner's high kind of hit so yeah i feel like i could run another mile but for the sake of time i need to go it's 8 10 so i have to hurry but post run feeling sweaty and gross feeling like a nice shower but i'm super thankful and that was that was nice that little one mile run kind of i could kind of get why people run <sighs> but tomorrow when i try to do like two or three we'll see tomorrow i might try to do three and then wednesday maybe take it a little easy thursday maybe five but five might be like, I haven't run five miles since I was in seventh grade. So that might be a little bit pushing it. So we'll see. But happy day one of running. It's done. I'm very thankful, very happy, very satisfied with that. And now we're going to go shower and I'll up to you guys tomorrow on day two of the running. Woo! Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day two of running. So today is Tuesday morning and it's actually 11.15 because I went into work this morning. Honestly, I had full intentions of running before work but it obviously didn't happen, which is okay. So today, my legs are like a tiny bit sore. My tummy kind of hurts a little bit, but I'm gonna go run right now because I just want to get it done. So I'm thinking maybe two miles, but if it's like in pain, like horrible, I won't do that. So we'll see. Tomorrow I want it to be like a really light day, like another mile or something. And Thursday, I'm gonna try to run a little bit, maybe longer, we'll kind of see who knows in this journey of running, but I'm excited. I hope that we get the runners high like we did yesterday because honestly, that set the tone for like my whole entire night. And the whole night then I was in like such a good mood 
and very happy and I was like productive and got a lot done. So hopefully the same vibes will be felt after this run today. And then I'm gonna make breakfast after, which I'm starving, so I'm super excited about that. But I hope me being hungry like doesn't affect today's run. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm very excited to put this video together. This is kind of funny. So we're gonna go do like a tiny little stretch. Probably not really stretch that much, but yeah, we're gonna go do this. I can't really like talk and run. I'm just not that good, like at all. I'm kind of bad at running actually. So we're just gonna do little clips of me running. Okay, I like stretched for like 10 seconds. Now I'm just gonna like get into this. Very nervous, honestly, but it's not that deep. I'm just nervous because you guys are here, I think. Holy hot. Okay, let's go. <laughs> We're done. It was so much harder than yesterday because it's like boiling hot outside. It's so hot. But I ran two miles. I'm genuinely like so proud of myself because that was hard. I wanted to stop like three times, but I didn't stop at all. So we're gonna go and make some breakfast. Okay, I feel like I haven't really done a talking update of the running situation in a couple of days. So today was day three and I ran three miles today and I was so happy with that because I did it on the treadmill, which sometimes I think for me personally, it's a little bit easier to run outside. So yesterday I did the two miles. It was really hard. Like it was just really hard. I wanted to quit like halfway through, but I didn't take any breaks. So I just kept going. And then today, um, it was a lot easier today, which is kind of weird, but I also didn't take any breaks and it just felt so good. I mean, I'm running 10 minute miles, but I'm running nonetheless. So I'm very excited about that and very, very happy and thankful. And sometimes you just need to be thankful that your body can move and has the ability to perform movement because it's such a blessing. And some people don't have that. And sometimes I definitely take it for granted. So yes, today we ran three miles. It felt so, so good to just move my body and my legs were very sore this morning. So I was a little bit nervous on how the workout was actually going to go, but it actually felt really good and I felt really good about it. And the endorphins are very high this morning. That's another thing is it's like 7.40 right now and my run's already done for the day. And that is the best feeling because every day I've waited till after work to run. And it's kind of just like, mm, cause during work I'm like, oh, I have to go run after this. And it's, I know it's gonna be hot. So I'm kind of dreading it a little bit. So today it was so nice to just, get it done early in the morning. It was a little bit hard to get out of bed, but once I did it, I was very happy. I also did a little arm circuit today after running and my arms are so tired. So I decided to switch arms to hold this because my arms are so sore. And then tomorrow I want it to be a really light day because I never run. So running three days in a row is kind of probably a lot. I don't want to like shock my body. So I think I'm just going to run a mile tomorrow as like a little, just like slight movement, or I might even just walk tomorrow. We'll kind of see how my body's feeling. Then Friday, I'm hoping I can do a long run. I have no idea how long. I'm hoping five miles, but five miles seems like a lot from the fact that I don't run at all. <laughs> so we'll just kind of see what we're thinking, but I wanted to give you guys a little update. Today's run felt so good and I am so thankful that I went and got it done already. It feels great. I'm. It's 7.45 in the morning and I almost have 8,000 steps on the day, which is amazing. So I just walked a little bit after that too, walked a mile. Like I said, did my arm workout. So it was just a really good form of movement. That's another thing is when I'm running, I haven't really been doing my walks. So it felt really good to walk today. I'm hoping it's good for recovery. And I'm planning on Norma Teching, which I might vlog that today, which is like the things in your legs that just help reduce like soreness and everything. And it helps your lactic acid drain, I believe. So I'm planning on doing that today, post work. I wanted to give you guys a little update. So today is Thursday and I've decided that I'm not gonna run today because my legs are a little bit sore. And tomorrow I wanna try to go for more than three miles. We'll see if that happens. So I think it's important to have a rest day and I run Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I never run. So I feel like my body will appreciate it. And if I can run as far as I want to tomorrow, that will probably be the end of this little vlog. And then I'll kind of do like a review of it and give my opinion on the matter. But I just wanted to give you guys a little update and explain of why there's not like technically a day four running. Day four is just rest, but there will be a day five. So my goal is to wake up tomorrow morning decently early and get a run in, but I'm very nervous. So we'll see how it goes, but hopefully it's great. Good morning, running vlog. Happy Friday. Today is long run day and I'm generally terrified. It's 7.03, so I wanted to be here at like seven. So I'm a little bit late. So I need to get a moving and groove in here. We're gonna shoot for like four to five miles, but I generally have no idea if that's even possible. I haven't run that far in so long. So like I think since like freshman year of high school. 
and I'm gonna go into my freshman year of college, so we'll see. I'm like really nervous, which is silly because I don't need to be nervous. It's just not that deep. Y'all, I forgot my headphones. I have to go back home. Oh no. Okay, just kidding. I'm actually going back home to get my headphones. I'm sorry, but I cannot physically run five miles without my headphones. I'll hear myself breathing and I'll want to die. We're going to go home and get my headphones and then we're going to start running. I'm scared. Oh, this is so inconvenient, but it's okay. It's not going to stop our run. Guys, I literally feel absolutely amazing. Like this is the best feeling ever. Holy cow. The runner's high is high. I'll do a review in the car when it's less windy, but let's go get, oh, that's awkward. That's so embarrassing, that's okay. We're gonna go get a big Diet Coke. It is now a few days later and I wanted to close out this running vlog by just talking about some takeaways I had and how I did or I didn't like it and just kind of a little recap of the video because most of the video was just little talks before the run, during or after the run. Not too much during because I got pretty out of breath but I seriously had so much fun making this video. I think it was really great because it challenged me and it pushed me out of my comfort zone and it also held me accountable to actually run every day because I think for me at least to start running it'd be very hard if something wasn't holding me accountable because I really did not think I would enjoy running and recap of the video I'm so happy I did it because I did not know at all that I would be able to run five miles looking back I'm still like that's actually crazy to me because I don't run very often I'm definitely not a runner so I'm so thankful that I was able to do that. It feels so good. And I definitely felt very accomplished after that run. It also put me in the best mood ever after I ran that. And I was just so happy and so proud and so thankful that Jesus gave me a body that works and that can move. And I'm so thankful for that because movement is truly such a gift. So I genuinely think I will continue running. I honestly, to be totally honest, I have not ran since I recorded that video, but I am planning on doing a little run tomorrow. So hopefully that happens. I didn't think I would actually end up enjoying it as much as I did, but it came up to the point where I was enjoying and looking forward to doing my run. And I think that was how I was able to wake up Friday morning and whip out those five miles and honestly enjoy it. And it wasn't super hard, which I was kind of surprised about. I didn't find myself as out of breath as I would have thought I'd be, which I'm very thankful for. But it was seriously such a fun video to make. I'm so happy I did it because it truly pushed me out of my comfort zone. And running is really scary and it's also really mentally tough. So I think that running, there are so many benefits. One of them obviously being that you release a lot of endorphins. So you get a lot happier. It definitely put me in a better mood. I found that if I got my run done in the morning, I was a lot more energized throughout my whole entire day and a lot more productive. I had one of the most productive weeks of my summer last week and I truly credit that all to running because it just made me feel more energized and happy throughout the day and ready and excited to tackle more things. So it genuinely felt so good. So I'd highly recommend if you're looking for a sign to run, I think this is your sign and I would definitely recommend to push yourself out of your comfort zone and try it. Just start with literally half a mile or a mile and see how far you can get. But I truly think that you will only have good and positive results and be very thankful that you did it. The first week might not be super fun. It might be really challenging. The first couple weeks might be really hard, but I would try it and see where it gets you. So I just want to thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Your support seriously means the whole entire world to me. And thank you for following me along on this running journey. We'll see if it continues throughout my vlogs. I guess you guys will see. Generally haven't ran since, but maybe we'll pick it up tomorrow. That's the goal. So Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram at Tenley underscore rude and follow me on TikTok at Tenley rude. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. I love you all so much. Subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.